I've been managing implementations or involved with implementations in one shape or another for over 30 years. And I found that the riskiest projects are the ones that you don't know what the risks and issues are. So when I see a project that doesn't have a lot of issues recorded or doesn't have a lot of risks that are identified, I start digging into that project to understand what's happening with it. I had an implementation project that suddenly looked like it was slowing down and suddenly looked like it was at risk of not meeting the dates. And in questioning the project team and trying to understand what was happening, there was nothing happening and nothing recorded that looked like there were issues. So I sat down with the customer and said, what's happening? Why are we having suddenly a slowdown on the project? And it turned out that the customer had resource constraints. It turned out they had lost some people. They weren't sure how they were going to make up the time, but they didn't want to identify these issues. They didn't want to put it out on the table. They were trying to kind of keep it over on the side and just hope that everything would be okay. The reality is hope isn't a very good strategy. So once we identified that issue and we uncovered it, we were able to come up with a resource to help them to do their testing and help them to finish all the tasks that need to be done, got the project back on track. They then hired a person and the project completed successfully. The key is making sure that all of the risks and issues and things that come up on every project, that they're identified because we can solve issues that we know about. We can't solve issues that we don't know about.